Hey everyone! So in this tutorial I will go over the first part of the anim and blueprint of the Adventure Kit character. So we'll look at the anim graph for this first part and at the event graph in the next tutorial. Um, so the anim graph itself isn't too complicated. There is the locomotion state machine which governs the different states uh, like ledge climbing, walking, jumping and so on. Then we have the item pose which is a blend on um, the locomotion, on the cache locomotion, and depending on the current item, the character blends uh, a set of different um, poses, as you can see here. They are just animations, with the exception of the bow drawing animation. Um, the bow has a different charge, and depending on the charge, we uh, the the um, Animation is evaluated at a different time, so it looks like the bow is drawn. And then, in the next part, we blend um, the these locomotion, um, the, the full body locomotion, and the upper body on uh, the spine bone. And after that is done, so that is to make the lower part of the body play the same thing as the upper, as the um, full body and the upper part of the body uh, should play a holding item animation if there is an item. So in the next step we apply aim offset so whenever the character holds a gun or something um, it is possible for the player to look up and the character should follow so there is that. If we use aim offset there is a value that changes kind of where the character looks. And this is blended onto the spine round 2. And after that we are done with the animation blending. And lastly there is the full body slot for animation montages that kind of override the default uh, animation pose. So the big thing is the locomotion state machine which takes care of the different states uh, like wall climbing, ceiling, ledge climbing and so on and the transitions between zones. In one of the previous tutorials I have shown you how to govern uh, transitions with the Anim blueprint and this is basically the full implementation that takes care of all the, all the transitions of the Adventure Kit. Um, by default uh, the, the over all state machine just has the different states. So for example if we set the um, movement mode to ladder climbing and you can see here, see here the state machine goes from the idle state to the main transition and that goes to the ladder state because the ladder state is taken when the movement mode is climbing ladder. And the instant transition can only be taken if there is not currently a different transition playing, so if uh, the character currently doesn't have an active transition like jumping from ledge to ledge. This is because um, in each of the states, so we'll take the ladder state for example, we have a sub-state machine and this takes care of jumping right or left or stepping up or down and we don't want the state machine on top to just go away from ladder state while we're still in a jumping transition, for example. So let's take, for example, the character is on a ladder and wants to jump to a ledge. So in this case, we can go to the to ledge state whenever the movement mode of the next zone is ledge climbing and we currently have a transition to, other, to another zone. Then we enter the to ledge state and simply to the um, similar to the previous tutorial, if the direction of the transition is to the right, we'll jump to the right. If the transition is not to the right, it is to the left, and the character jumps to the left. And in each of these animations, we again have these notifiers called set transition zones. So what happens is at the end, the animation plays, and at the end of the animation, the zone is set, which clears the pending transition, which in turn um, resets the uh, zone changed flag 
which means from the ladder state the movement mode is no longer ladder. The ladder goes to the interesting transition which can be entered because the current transition is no longer active and the movement mode will be um, ledge climbing so the ledge transition is taken and the ledge movement mode is started. And here is pretty much the same thing. We have a centerpiece which is just a blend space uh, of the movement and we have different transitions. Uh, the ledge has a, uh, quite a lot of transitions so it can go jumping to the left, jumping to the right, up, down, around the left corner, around the inner right corner, around the outer left corner and so on. And it can also go jumping to a ladder or jump to a tight space or let go of the zone or go to a platform. And each of these states, so each of the wall and ceiling and each all the states are pretty similar. Um, they have a movement, they go to trans trans transition, the transition sets the animation, uh, starts the animation and the animation sets the zone and when the zone is set the state is changed and goes somewhere else. And this is basically how the animation blueprint is set up and in the next tutorial I'll go over how all these different configured um, variables are set and why we need them. So thanks for watching.